Hello everyone, I am Krishna Vasudevan, a technical marketing engineer at InfoBlox. This video will walk you through the InfoBlox integration with Ansible and what has been introduced with Ansible 2.8. Ansible is a popular open source automation tool used for various IT tasks such as configuration management, application deployment, orchestration and provisioning. The Ansible 2.5 open source project release added support for the Infoblox NIOS enablement. This enables existing networking Ansible playbooks to utilize existing Infoblox infrastructure for IP address management, using Infoblox for tracking inventory and more. There are a total of 16 modules included with Ansible 2.8. With Ansible 2.8, support for managing Infoblox grid members has been introduced. This module manages NIOS member objects using the Infoblox WAPI interface over REST. It supports both standalone and HA members. Let us now look at a quick demo of how you can use this module. This is the grid setup against which you will see the member module in action. First, let us create a member using the module. This is an easy to follow playbook that uses the module and specifies the details of the member to be created. Now let's run the playbook. On the grid, once you refresh the page, you can see that the offline member was added to the grid. Now let us look at how you can modify a member and add pre-provisioning details to it. As you can see, the member has been modified and updated with the specified details. This module also supports generating tokens that can be used to join the grid. Please note that this is only applicable on pre-provisioned members. The token is printed as part of the output. You can now use this to join the grid. Next, let us look at how you can leverage the module to delete the member. The state set to absent here indicates that the member specified in the name section needs to be deleted. As you can see, running the playbook deleted the member from the grid. With Ansible 2.8, you can now use the NIOS member module to automate grid members and manage it during its life cycle. This can be leveraged in other playbooks that are already a part of your ecosystem. One such example scenario could be where you would like to autoscale the grid members based on a certain criteria like DNS queries per second or CPU. Thank you for watching this video. Keep an eye out on the official Ansible page for any further updates.